we're going to stay in basketball. And during draft night, the Oklahoma City Thunder sent Serge Ibaka to Orlando in exchange for Victor Oladipo, Ersan Ilisova, and newly drafted Domantas Sabonis. Do you think that the move by OKC was a good one in order to keep Kevin Durant in OKC? I think it was. I think that the OKC made off like bandits here. They got a lot of a lot of productivity from three very good players. And I think for Orlando, this is going to give Serge Ibaka now an opportunity to really get some offense going. This is a guy that's been complaining to Oklahoma City that he wanted to get more touches in the Thunder's offense over the course of the last several years. When Billy Donovan was named the head coach, he thought that, that things were going to change for him. And they really didn't. And if you look at Serge Ibaka's numbers over the last four seasons, five seasons, his numbers have really been on a steady decline over the last couple years. I think now going to Orlando and playing for a new head coach, Frank Vogel, he's really going to be one of the centerpieces of the offense. So I think that this is a good fit for him. And then as far as OKC is concerned, I think that they wouldn't have made this trade if they knew that if something like this was going to bother Kevin Durant. I don't think they would have gone ahead and pulled the trigger on this move. I think that they probably had the, even though that he's not locked up for the contract, I think that they probably had an okay from Kevin Durant to go ahead and make this decision and make this trade. That's a good point. That's a good point, Michael. Yeah, totally. And also what this trade did was, you know, free up some cap space for them to keep, you know, try and keep Durant and Russell Westbrook going into next season because he's going to be, you know, going into free agency. And also this gives OKC the opportunity to have that, you know, second guard with Oladipo. You know, they need that security from a secondary guard player. Yeah, I don't think that the move puts OKC in a better or worse position than before because I always thought that OKC was one of the top contenders and I actually think it's really likely that he may stay although when I was reading and and thinking about it further there I don't know if they're as strong as a contender as I thought because of some of the quotes that Kevin Durant said something about um, he want it's a basketball decision he wants to have fun where he, wherever he plays he wants to get along with the people that he plays with and so I would assume that if he's saying that he's not getting, there's something amiss in OKC to make him say that. So I think they're still a contender, maybe not as strong. I mean, you have the Warriors and the Spurs who are, he's meeting with, and they have a proven pedigree. And so it's going to be really a challenge for OKC to package themselves in the face of you know going against a Warriors team or a Spurs organization. But what you got to remember is the o OKC was a Western Conference Finals team. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, there's not that much they need to tweak. They need to. They make. May need to make some slight improvements, but they beat San Antonio and they beat uh, Golden State. No, they lost to Golden State. Excuse me, but they were close to beating Golden State. Should have beat them. Right. Yes. <laughs> But then, I mean, it goes back to the, you know, who he's surrounding himself with and if he feels comfortable with, totally in OKC. I think Durant wants to meet with these other teams, with, with San Antonio and Golden State, so he can, he can figure out, maybe get a, 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 an understanding of what's going on to help him out during the season next year.